Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to show you how to manually create some uh, curved lines or, or just straight lines to match a spline. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to do a um, spline, so DL spline. So, something like this okay and uh, I'll change the scale and to make it a thin line yep good so I'll do some white line maybe TL yep so I'll VH this so now I'm going to create a set of um, normal lines like uh like this straight line and also the arc to match the shape of this spline okay so um before that um just explain why we need to do this sometimes because for spline you won't be able to uh, pick uh sorry dimension them you, you you won't be able to dimension your spline and also if you're trying to model some line, use pick line. Sorry, if you want trying to model some wall, use the pick pick lines. You won't be able to pick the spline. Okay, so let's start. So DL. So I'll just create some wide lines. Uh, so first start from here. So I'll just draw some uh, little segment of lines. And it's the first one, and then imagine this is a, a, a arc. Okay, so just leave it for now, and I'll create another one here, another straight line here, and roughly another one maybe here, and then um, so go um, hang on, let me just think. This is a little bit like a flat. So um, yeah, actually, I'll, let me change the shape of this a little bit so it's you can easily just underst un understand it. Okay, so because when it's flat, you can probably just draw the flat line. <laughs> okay, so CS create another one. So just need to find some where it change change the direction or change the radius roughly. So I guess it's about here. Okay, so then another curve, and about here it changes the direction to that the other way. So here we need a line roughly here, and then this will be a roughly a, a, a arc, and uh, about here it changed the radius. Okay, this is quite small radius, and then become a uh, large radius and then about here I change the direction and uh, this can be a very flat so this is a straight line and also here it changed direction to this way and then roughly about here it changed the radius so this is a small radius and then this is a slightly larger and then last one okay so now DL again go fillet arc and then pick these lines and then try to create the arc okay and actually we'll notice um, where's my straight line here so it's quite tiny it looks like I don't need it anymore so I'll delete it and I'll create the the fillet oh sorry the wrong one fillet arc using the arc instead of that straight line so okay so click the this arc and the straight line trying to yep yeah, that's perfect so and then straight line straight line so roughly here okay and this one this one this this one this one this and this one this one about here and this one this one about here this one this one about here and this one this one so you will notice that uh, yeah so this one's not quite matched see 
and uh, what you can do, I'll just quickly show you. So it looks like we need another one here because uh, CS, just another straight line, roughly uh, maybe here. The more, uh, yeah, the more lines you add, so the more accurate it will be. But uh, some, of course, the less is better. The less is better. Okay, so um, not much in here. Oh, let's ignore it. So, okay, so I'll hide this um, spline. So now we have all this. So if you t if if it's all perfect, uh, if you tab, you will be able to select all of them. But if there's some segment break somewhere, you won't be able to select all of them, it will stop somewhere, and you can tell, okay, so now, oh, oh sorry, go back to floor plan, we can, we can create a wall, and also, uh, here, another thing, so, for example, here, um, spline, you won't be able to close it, but uh, DL, if you can use this to close this, it's perfect, smooth, close, Okay, so now we can do a, a wall, use the pick line and pick and tab, click. So now we have this wall. Okay, so you will notice that uh, you won't see the line between them because they are perfectly aligned. Okay. Yep. Yes, and uh, Sometimes if you move some of the wall and you will notice actually the the, the wall next to it will your man will follow it and still still um, very smooth um, yeah so that's 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 about it um, still very nice smooth uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, and also, if if you have AutoCAD, you can also export the spline into AutoCAD and use the command um, to convert it to a polyline, which will, and then you can load it back, and uh, you will be able to pick them. Okay, so um, I think I did a video before, but I can't remember now. <laughs> I can't remember what that command is, but uh, you just maybe just Google search it. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I'll ask you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.